Hello world, my name is Nathan Rabin. I'm very awkwardly framing myself in this mirror here. Uh, and if you are watching this, that means that you uh, are a patron for Nathan Rabin's Happy Place. So I first off just wanted to thank you for that. That is very, very kind of you. It's because of you that I'm able to do this pretty much for a living and still have a career. Uh, and uh, to show you how much I appreciate you, I figured I would shoot you a little video uh, of my home office where the magic happens and then give away a copy of of uh, the Garfield book that I wrote a withering, withering piece about. So now that you know that it's absolute garbage, uh, you'll be excited uh, to receive an autographed copy in the mail. Uh, let's start off with my weird Al Yankovic uh, shrine. It's uh, fairly big and fairly sizable. And uh, I had, at one point I had the thought of like, oh man, I should show Weird Al my shrine. He'd be really, really impressed by that. Um, I think he would find it psychotic and, and possibly have some sort of restraining order against me, which is probably not a bad idea to begin with. Uh, so let's see, I've got my autographed copy of uh, The Complete Owl on Laserdisc. I actually got that from a, from a, from a reader, from a, from a fan, which was pretty exciting and incredibly kind. Uh, I've also got a bunch of albums that look really cool and that did not sell. Uh, from my GoFundMe for his uh, big summer tour, there is Straight Out Linwood. Oh my goodness, there's Alpocalypse, another fine album. Uh, here I've got the Weird Al Yankovic 25th uh, Greatest uh, Simpson Guest Stars, uh, UHF from the box set, even worse from the box set. Uh, this was actually a uh, pre test pressing. I'm gonna say a press testing. My God, in my old age, nothing but spoonerisms, my friend. Uh, and this is, a b b oh, in 3D. Pretty effing cool. This is the big uh, poster from the big tour. That's the Funko. Those are four uh, backstage passes from the last tour. This is from when I was working on the book. Uh, this one has particular uh, particular appeal to me because that's Al sent me that through the mail. Uh, I think right before Apocalypse uh, came out, and you know the whole big thing was happening and. I don't know, he was a uh, whole Lady Gaga situation, which all got reconciled and everything's great. Uh, and then this, finally, is my Weird Al Yankovic autographed magnetic dress-up kit. Uh, fucking magnets, how do they work? Alrighty, now let's move on to my non-Weird Al Yankovic rhyme. There's my um, needle point for He's on Fire from NBA Jam. I, of course, did not uh, make that myself. I purchased it from Gallery 1988, which had a lot of great stuff. Oh man, this is Michel Gondry's uh, painting of me. Yeah, that Michel Gondry, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Be Kind of Rewind. He had this thing where he would sign, uh, or he would do a, a portrait of you for $20. I'm like, fuck yeah. Glad I got in, there was about a three day window to do that. Um, uh, this is an original painting uh, from the 1980s Frisk from uh, Wacky Packages. Uh, this is a painting of me by Danny Hellman. I uh, did the illustrations for uh, My World of Flops and then also for uh, the cover for Seven Days in Ohio. Um, there's another Wacky Packages. Uh, I know all you best show uh, folks will be able to appreciate that. For Sour Puss Kids, I think it's a Sour Patch Kids uh, parody, there is one of the most memorable interviews I ever did, also the most awkward and painful. Uh, Ghostface Killer. Enter the 36 Chambers of Camera. Uh, yeah. I asked him 36 questions in 13 minutes because he wouldn't answer anything and was really pissed off and did not enjoy talking to me. I don't blame him. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, the New York Times, review of Big Rewind, Times, a uh, piece on uh, My Year of Flops. Yeah, that was the book. Uh, I've got Lou Pearlman's uh, Queen's College uh, diploma here. Very, very exciting. God, I have a copy. I think I got this from when they were shutting down the Onion office in Madison when everybody was moving. Uh, they were going to throw this out, and <laughs> as tends to be the case, I'm like, hey, I would like that. That's cool. That's like a little part of uh, Onion history. My God, this is from 1996. If I'm not mistaken, this was the first uh, Onion that actually had any ideas from me, I think. I indirectly led to Special Olympics Fixed. Uh, let's see, here is autographed copy of You Don't Have a Be Don't Like Me, um, and the Four Star Review from Rolling Stone. Uh, oh, goodness, here is my shrine. <laughs> oh, here's the illustration for Seven Days in Ohio. Here's another Lou Pearlman, uh, Lou Pearlman diploma. Here is my shrine to MF Doom. Uh, there's one piece. 
Here's another. This is actually an original drawing from the Sarface album that he did with uh, Zarface. Pretty fucking good. I should write about it at some point. Kind of lost all confidence when it comes to writing about music and hip hop in particular. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there is Big Bird. I just gotta have a uh, representation here in my office and then I uh, fold out from a Sesame Street magazine from 1975. Alrighty, and now we got to the Honestly, if you made it to this part of the video, I am astonished and impressed. I would have turned it off like 15 minutes ago because <laughs> I'm just babbling and, and, and showing people things. So this is Garfield. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Volume one, Complete Works, 1978 and 1979. Let's, let's, oh my God, this is exciting. Look at this. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, Jim Davis, autographed, autographed first edition. If I was like, 12 years old, this would rock my fucking world. Let's go look at some of the hilarity that is found here. Um, I love Fridays, the end of a long week, uh, the beginning of a weekend filled with relaxation, TV, sports, and parties. Almost makes me wish I had a job. Uh, interesting. Kind of meta there, because he doesn't have a job, so why does he dislike Monday so much? Uh, this year I resolve to be nicer to dogs. Maybe I'll cut down on lasagna instead. Wow. And then look at the top. He's just being physically abusive and then justifying it in like some weird Darwinian kind of way. Anyway, so let's see here. This is my list of uh, patrons. So I'm going to and then I'm gonna... The person who gets it is Stephen... Stephen Miller? Is that it? Yes, yes, yes. Stephen Miller. Oh my God, Stephen Miller. Congratulations. You are exceedingly, exceedingly generous, uh, this and, and otherwise. Uh, and you are the lucky, lucky recipient of this uh, first edition autographed copy of Garfield. And I would like to finish by thanking everybody for all of your generosity and all your kindness and apologizing for the substandard nature of this video. Uh, some of you have suggested that I do YouTube videos. Uh, I think this kind of illustrates that no go. <laughs> no, don't nobody want to hear me uh, communicating uh, this way. So congratulations, Stephen. Uh, I'm going to send out your copy of Garfield. Complete works, 1978 and 1979, uh, tomorrow. Uh, so great. Thank you, and uh, thanks again for being a patron.